Our other top story tonight, three months after the death of a child, a man arrested in Detroit is facing charges of involuntary manslaughter tonight. He's blamed for the fentanyl overdose that killed the 14 month old girl. Tragedy unfolded at a home in Port Huron. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell talked to stunned neighbors there. That incident happening back in August at a home on the 1300 block of Division Street. Neighbors I spoke with say they were shocked to learn a baby girl died after ingesting drugs. I got goosebumps. It was like shock. It was August 25th, just after 1.30 a.m. 911 dispatchers in Port Huron received a frantic call from a mother who said her 14-month-old child wasn't breathing. I have kids of my own, and I would never want to be able to, you know, be to hear something like that, you know, that's horrible. Police say the mother made the call on route to McLaren Hospital. Tragically, 14-month-old Zayana Reddick didn't survive. Neighbors say it's heartbreaking. Especially somebody that young, it's tragic. Prosecutors say 27-year-old Demonte Rice was handling powdered drugs in the home. An autopsy later revealed Reddick died from a fentanyl overdose. It's too bad, especially for the mom. And with this all happening, no, it's got to be. I couldn't imagine that. Now, Rice is facing 15 years behind bars and is charged with involuntary manslaughter. That's just bad parenting on his part. You know, he shouldn't even be doing that kind of stuff in that house with kids there. Rice now has a probable cause hearing coming up on December 17th. Reporting in Port Huron, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Warren Mayer 